Duke style trip here. Mm -hmm. Just a just a pull trigger. So that one, that's a little different trigger. I'll, they, they have to pull it for this to go down. Release the trigger. That. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty dirty inside. Just wanted to do a little bit of like a trapper's log here, nothing fancy. But we're just setting a few traps out today. And uh, you can see there's quite a bit of traps here. Not a whole lot for like coons that we're kind of targeting right now, but I think there's enough that we might be able to get something. So we got a few like dog proof traps, got a few um, kind of bear traps. So we're gonna set these out and with the dog proof traps, just gonna use, <clears throat> just gonna use right at this, you know, for this day, probably just gonna use cat food. I usually use cat food and marshmallows on top of the cat food and then sprinkle some fish oil around it but I don't have any fish oil it disappeared somewhere I don't have marshmallows either I'm gonna put our first dog proof trap right along this irrigation pipe I've caught several of them right here so I think we'll do that I'm gonna put one down there caught a couple down there and I'm gonna put a couple of 160 pound of bears right there there's a trail right along the creek and there's a few fresh coon tracks there some muddy paw tracks on top of the snow. So that's the plan here. And uh, I only have like three days to do this. Two, two, three at most. And uh, hopefully we get a few. I wanna show you guys how uh, we do some trapping here. So stay tuned. I've already created a cable. I got a big loop on this end. I've got it tied to the trap here. Basically, I just feed it through itself right around the post. Pretty effective. So, they like to go underneath. They don't really like to go around it. There's dry ground, and they'd rather take the dry ground than the snow. So, we're just gonna go right around the pipe. No cables that are gonna be pulled at all. and irrigation pipe and I'm gonna stick it right underneath the motor here all right in the dry ground if I can find a soft spot there we go clear some of the snow away and not a whole lot of cat food you don't want to you don't want to fill the whole trap this is just a pull only trap it's not a push pull so about halfway, maybe a little bit more. I'm just kind of sprinkle some around the area just to get them attracted to it. Some over there, some over here. So that's that one. And I think we'll just walk down here. So I can take this. So that one's set there. I'm gonna come down here and set a couple. Got some dry ground coming up to here. She has a couple of fresh coon tracks right along this edge. Oh, right along the edge there. So, gonna set a few. I'm gonna set a dog proof trap here. And I'm also gonna set a couple of 160 kind of bears in the trails. And I've been pretty successful in catching them in the trails here.
need to push our pole. Halfway. One sixties, kind of bears with a little stand on. These stands are really awesome. You don't need these stands if you really don't want to. You can just set these in the trail. But the stand also helps as a stake too. You just put the loop right underneath there, put it in the ground. And but with these, the the kill type trap, they just are dead right away. So I'm gonna put one over here. And I'm really gonna hide this spot right here. I'm gonna find that spot where it narrows down the tightest and put this right in there and put some grass inside the trap to disguise it a little bit. To the other side of this creek. I don't think I'm gonna mess with muskrat traps today, maybe tomorrow, but for today, I'm just gonna get two more coon traps set up on the other side and uh, be able to check those in the morning. Then maybe in the morning we'll set some muskrat traps because thankfully the water is open. I didn't think it'd be open, I thought the water would be froze by now. Really cold temperatures. But, nope, not frozen. All right. Looks like I got a couple more dog proofs I can set. Got another one with just, another one with just a rod. I got another one with just a heavy steel plate. When maybe you're, you're on like a culvert or something, maybe a cement culvert where you can't stake anything down or cable anything off, so these big heavy weights, they're not going to go anywhere. I think we'll use those too. Here, I'm gonna put another dog proof right in the bottom of that dry. There's a stake there, they love that stake. 
when they put a kind of bear trap on the other side of that. Blit close over to this post here so the chain's not all bunched up. Faint trail. I've got coons here every time. Right here. Come out of this. Come out of here. Right in there. Got these honking steel plates. Raccoons aren't, most, most raccoons aren't that smart, and they're hungry, they'll eat it, so. Alright, one more. what it looks like. And then just a hair bit more. Just enough for them to go right through there. That's it. Alright, so we'll come back tomorrow morning and do a quick check. When you're doing this trapping thing, you don't have to you don't have to get all the fancy tools and stuff, just the necessities. Obviously, some of the tools that I got are real helpful, like this little dog-proof setter. Um, that's really helpful. Having a uh, the Conda Bear trap setters, those are really helpful too. Saves your hands. And other than that, I mean, you don't really need a lot. I'm only setting I think, five or six traps. Maybe tomorrow I'll throw a few more out, but. Just enough to get started and it's just really cool to kind of figure out how the animals are traveling and kind of outsmart them and also there's just way too many of them. There's way too many coons. A whole lot of muskrats. So hopefully we can get at least one tomorrow. And always, you know, there's never a guarantee I might not get any tonight. So maybe tomorrow if uh, I don't get any then I can kind of just adjust what I was doing today, maybe I set the traps a little differently, put them in a little different spots. It's all about trial and error. 
we will be back at it tomorrow morning. We'll see you.